Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Fractals. So today we'll have a breakdown for this trade that we have shared recently on the VIP group, the short position from the point four targeting the lows three. So right here on trading view, this crypto is called the Pengu USDT on the 15 minute time frame. So uh, we have started our analysis from this high right here, since we have a vibration at this high, and we can see that there is a formation of a geometric structure for fractals. Right here, we have explained this model many times. You can check back the other YouTube videos. This model right here is a Y model. We take a copy of this one and then we move it outside and we'll start studying the details and the characteristics of this copy. So the first thing that we'll check is the self-similarity. So as you can see right here, this particular shape with lower high right here was the same one exactly right here. After that, we can see that on the copy, we have a strong push to the downside and it was the same way right here. Now, even if we have a strong self-similarity, this is not enough to verify that this is a high quality setup. I need also to focus on the scale. So what we'll do simply, we'll take the fib retracement and we'll draw it from this low to this high on the copy. As you can see right here, the end of the downtrend was marked by the breakout of the low two. So we'll do the same thing on the chart. We'll draw the fibs the same way. And if we have the same rejection level, the level two, this means that the fractal that we are trading is a high quality one. So right here, when I draw the fibs in this way, as you can see right here, we have the breakout of the level two and then the price has rejected the same way right here and the same way right here. Now, as you can see, we have a lower high, the same way, lower high right here, and we get the rejection at the level 0 0.618, the Fibonacci, the same way right here, 0 0.618. That's why we have expected a short position from this high targeting this those right here, already using the fractals, you know that your stop loss will be at this high and your take a profit will be at this low right here. Everything right here, you can see on the copy. We have used, of course, other confirmations. One of these confirmations was uh, the development of this equal low model right here. So when the price was moving at this area, we have expected also that the price will go back to target this toes right here. This is as a price action of fractals movement. And of course, we have used other confirmations as a breakout and retest on other time frames. So we'll just focus on the most important things. Now let's move to the golden chart and we'll try to explain the fractals that we have traded today. So on the golden chart today, we had a long position on the one minute time frame. Our long position was from uh, this level right here. We'll explain in details how we have executed this trade. Uh, it was a little bit advanced. So for the ones who have experience with the fractals, this will be a good uh, model that you need to check. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, focus on something very important right here, that most of the people will get trapped on this uh, chart today because they will consider this movement right here as an L in one direction model. They will scale it in this way. And right here, they will expect to take a short position from this level, targeting this though. And they get stopped out. You need to understand that every model has a geometric structure and confirmations for the entry. So the reason why we didn't use this L in one direction today to take the short position, because as you can see right here, this is the copy. And this is the chart. There is no self-similarity between of them, okay? Uh, one of the most important characteristics of each fractal is the self-similarity. So if you don't see the, the self-similarity between the copy and the chart, uh, you just don't need to trade this fractal, okay? You need to look for another setup. And this was the case in our trading today. So the fractal that we have used was uh, based on combination between the breakout and retest model and the Y model. So right here, our fractal was at this area. 
As you can see right here, we have push to the downside, and then an impulse, and then we have a retest, and it's combined with the Y model. So we just take a copy of this model right here. Then we'll zoom out. Now, how we'll scale this copy? We'll scale this copy based on the self-similarity and the scaling, okay? So right here, if you pay attention, you will see that this high, for example, let's say this high is called high A, this one right here, is the same high A right here. And then we got the low B right here. Let's put it capital. So is the same low B right here. And then we got the high C. And this is the same one right here. So what we are waiting for, we are waiting for the retest of the high A. So this is what happened right here. And of course, it's combined with the Y model that exists right here. So it was a good confirmation to take the long position, zero drawdown, and we have targeted the breakout of the high C. So this was uh, simply our trade today. It looks simple, but of course it requires a lot of experience and a lot of understanding of the dynamics of the financial markets using fractal geometry. I recommend this model for the ones who have a good experience with the fractals. It's a high accurate model. Also, we have other trades uh, today on uh, SPX. We'll check them together right now and we'll do a breakdown for the trades. So right here on US 500 or SPX, what we get today, if you focus right here, we have explained this case different times. And I think most of the people now uh, understand very well how to trade the TCW model. Right here, what we get, we get the child wave and then we get the mother wave. So simply we need to take a copy of the child wave right here and then we need to scale it on the chart. We need just to fix the high with the high and the low with the low right here. So from here, what we expect, we expect short position and this was the case targeting this low right here. And of course, later, this one itself, it will turn to a Y model and we can also use it to take a long position right here. So uh, this is simply how to trade fractal geometry. It's not something sophisticated. Uh, some people will convince you that uh, it requires a lot of uh, designs, a lot of uh, drawings on this chart from here, from there. It's very simple. You need just to understand where the vibration is, at which low, at which high, uh, what behavioral pattern you have on the chart. It's an L in one direction, it's a Y model. And then you need just to have the uh, methodology, how you will scale your fractal and how you will trade it, okay? Uh, because most of the people catch the fractal later. Uh, for example, some people, how they will trade this chart, they will take this copy right here and unfortunately, they will scale it in this way. So they will not take this short position right here. They will not take this long position right here. But what they will do, they will take the short position from here. Why? Because they saw that right here, after the development of this, the price goes down. So they will take the short position. Uh, and this is not the case. Uh, right here, you are too late. This is not the right methodology to scale the fractal and trade it right here. You need to understand that every chart on the financial market has a long-term memory. So you need to understand also that not every cycle is continuous. Sometimes we have a breakout on the cycles. It's not very hard. You need just to stick to the rules of each model. You know how to set the take a profit where you enter and where also you should not enter using that model if you don't have all the confirmations. So this was just a quick video uh, for the breakdown of the straights. Also, if you are interested to learn more about fractal geometry, we are running right now a group mentorship program. You can join uh, from the link on the description. See you on the other side.